All right, welcome back everybody to our winter time here on our hillside settlement in medieval dynasty. If you're wondering why I'm picking up so many stones to start us off, it's because we might as well, first of all, we can see them. And second of all, we're still working on the stone house up there. So we'll spend a little bit of time on that this season. Uh, there's no harvesting to be done in winter, but we can plant the carrot patch. Uh, I think there are carrots up here, so Bolomira will probably do that. Um, so as you can tell, we don't have any um, missions going currently. But now that we have the big, you know, the Unigost and the Alwyn stories done, since those are done, we can now look for side quests to take on. So, <clears throat> what I mean by that is, if you look on the map, we'll notice that we have one here in town, and then two in Gostovia, one in Baranica, two in Denica, and two down in Hornica. So these tend to be typically smaller quests, but they still allow us to build up our dynasty reputation. And oftentimes they have what I would call minimal rewards. So we can do some of those, like let's say we decide we want to make, um, let's decide instead of going to Borwa and Gustovia for all of our sales, like let's say we're gonna go up here and do some mining anyways. Maybe on our way we stop at Branica and take that quest. Or maybe if we're gonna be selling things more distant, you know, we sell, maybe we take the donkey over to Denica and check out those. Um, that's something we could do. That's weird. I was standing there doing nothing for so long and then she suddenly took off. So we can uh, work on this house a little bit. Uh, like I said in the last episode, I'm not super concerned about getting these done. I want to work on the wall and I want to make sure that we have all of our basic needs met. Um, there's not really a rush to get these done because I don't think I'm going to be adding new people to the settlement. Basically, I'm going to move families to the better housing. And the worse housing will be there for when the kids grow up, essentially. So we'll just meander around. I don't think there's anything that I did after I ended the last recording that would really be interesting to you guys. Um, I may have actually finished this other house after the recording ended, but I can't remember 100%. Oh, we have 40 sticks. Wow. Um, we could maybe do some repair work while we have our hammer ready to roll. But, uh, is that? No, it's not. We got that other woodcutter going. I think that was on recording for you all. So we should have lots of logs coming in now. That's gonna be a big deal for us, having lots of logs coming in so that we can make progress on our wall. Now, in terms of recording, you know, we've been experimenting with this shorter recording style. If I was to keep everything, uh, you guys would, these episodes would be 90 minutes, give or take. And I know that's 
more than most people can invest in watching. So that's why I'm editing them down. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to explain that in case anybody was confused why I am doing these shorter shorter versions. All right, so I think uh, let's go ahead and grab some logs out of here. Let's see what, how many we have. Let's do a guess. I'm going to guess we have 34. Oh, 83. Love it. All right, we're going to go. I think we can carry about 25. Nope, we cannot. Oh, it's because I have all these sticks. Let's drop off this manure and let's drop off. Okay, that's uh, the straw too. We're at 92. That's still a little, little much. All right, we can move with this though. I would love to get this, what is this, the northern, I guess the western wall completed soonish. I, I want this to be our like main focus and then we can get the other sides done whenever. But I think this is gonna look so cool riding in from other places seeing our awesome wood wall. I've read, <clears throat> I know I've talked about this a little bit in the past, but I've read people on, you know, Reddit or whatever, places like that saying that they wish that the raiders, the, the bandits that we un interact with, they want those bandits to come raid villages. And I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I want ex I want this game to play exactly as it does. I play this game because I want to build a village. I don't play this game because I want combat. There are plenty of other games that have that style, if that's what you're looking for. Um, I'd be interested to hear what you guys think, if there's anybody in the comments that wants to talk about whether or not you would play with you know aggressive bandits on I really like that there's risk when you're out of your settlement you know I, I do think that that's important to have bandits and wolves I think we've died what twice on this save that was at the very beginning it was like the third episode I died uh, so that's always a threat right you always need to be head on a swivel while you're out there but it's not the defining characteristic of the game, which is important to me. All right, so I'm gonna mix this up a little bit here and do some more stone on that house. Might take some logs over and finish those walls. And I don't really know what else we'll get into this season, I may do a little bit of mining. I'm not sure how much of that I will show you guys, but I just wanted to go ahead and get this first morning started, and I will see you all later. Thanks for uh, sticking around, and I hope we have something fun to show you uh, when I come back. All right, welcome back for the second day of the season here. I think uh, we're gonna go ahead and load up on some trade goods and we're going to take a little ride to sell the trade goods and then we will um, maybe work on a quest so what I mean by trade goods is we want to check actually should have gone down to the food area we're probably going to load up on food and seeds like we have plenty of flax seed up here uh, so maybe we'll grab some of that uh, food actually weighs a good bit so we can put some on the donkey and fill up some of our own inventory I think if we get maybe like 500 flaxseed I think we have we should have extra um, and then we can get our surplus food 
and go sell that. So these are reasonable. I'll leave those. Oh, we don't have 500 extra, but we had 300 up there. Um, let's go. Let's go with an even 300. And then let's go with. Maybe 500 wood, uh, wheat grain. Did I, I literally did 501. Why? Why did I do that? Okay, there we go. All right, so that's our grain. And now let's grab some food. We want to find food that's valuable and that we have way extra. So like... The dry fish, we would get five for those. This gruel, because of the condition, I don't know what we would actually get. Uh, maybe we take those 45 mushroom soups. Um, I don't really want to take all those separate pottages. That's a pain to haul. Um... What else could we take? Maybe we will do some of this dried fish and the dried meat. Let's go with the dried fish. Let's dump some of this on the donkey. That's pretty good for him. Let's give him the flaxseed too. And then I think we can get regular dried meat for on me okay that's good we'll go sell all of this we can actually take our road check this out our little road here to our gate and then we'll go through the woods but it's coming along feeling pretty feeling pretty good getting that going <clears throat> and we're not going to go here to Borowa, even though there are people we could sell to here. We're going to try to head on up to Baranica. Now, I know a lot of times I've been um, simulating these rides, but I figured I'd bring you along with me for this one. Uh, and we'll see if the quest is short and doable, then we'll We'll try to do it on recording. If it seems like it's going to take me forever, or if it's very involved. If it's a quest that has me riding across the map, for example, I probably will do that off recording and just tell you guys what happens. But if it's like, you know, hunt a pig or something, then I'll, then I'll do that. Hopefully it'll be something fun, short, but... Or fun, but relatively short. This is a nice stretch of road. I've I've taken this path a number of times. There are I believe wolves somewhere maybe up here on the right. Occasionally I've seen them, but I have noticed that wolves react a little bit differently when you're on a donkey than when you're on foot. So, something to keep in mind if you play this also. I haven't had as many comments here on the last couple videos, so I don't know if the folks who play often have are not watching as much or what. But. Okay, so we'll sell what we have here first, and then we'll sell what's on the donkey. Hello. Hi Norbert. My wares never disappoint. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I don't really care about your wares though. I'm here to sell you my wares. Do you have You're not going to have 2500. But I'll sell you some. Take all your have a good money. Day. Let's go. Level up diplomacy like a boss. And then 
let's see. We can head up. Hopefully the goat sales lady has a bunch of money. Or not goat, I guess it's sheep. Sheep sales. I'll be coming here, hopefully sometime. Hello. Hello. How about Not you buy the rest need. of my wheat? Oh yeah, and I have this two things of wheat of yeah, weed. Mead. I'm not a weed salesman. Oh, wow. Okay. So I didn't even Goodbye. get the stuff off of the donkey. Hmm. Alright, well let's go into this other little town then. I wanna get this the selling done before we take a quest. Also, our resource storage building looks worse for wear. We're going to have to do some repair work over here. I wonder if things would, like, actually fall apart. Like, how bad can you let it get? I always repair stuff, so I don't know how bad it can get. <laughs> Alright, hopefully these folks have a bunch of coin. This is this is what mid game is on this game. You have a bunch of resources your people are producing, and you just ride around from town to town selling Goodbye. stuff. Goodbye. I'll be right back. I'm just getting it off my horse. The old Donkaroonie. I'll Hello. take the rest of your money. Best goods in the valley. You have two hundred and twenty-four, huh? Well. I'll take 190 of it. Have a good day. Have a good day. Okay, so yeah, this guy. How much money do you have? How can I help you? Bogdan. Oh, I have a Bogdan. So you have 1185. I will be taking all of that. Thank you. Farewell. See you soon. All right. So we just bankrupted two towns. And if I remember right, there's yeah, there's no mission here. So we'll ride back to the other town, see what the mission is. If the mission is something I don't want to do, then I will come mine. If the mission is something I do want to do, I will do the mission, and I will mine on the third day of the season. Which I don't think I'm going to show you guys much of, because I've done that a few times. But I do want to... You can come with me for the to see if this mission is any good. I'm gonna lasso one of these sheep and take them home. Alright. Wonder if it's somebody I've already done a mission for. Doesn't seem like it. It's nice to meet you. Majmira, nice to meet you too. Expanding my fields, a lot of trees. Yeah, sure, I can cut down trees. 20? Oh, okay. Well, let's take the donkey. Where did it? There we go. A donkey can. 20 trees, though, is 80 logs. Well, I guess it all depends on what kind of trees they are. Does she care where? Yeah, let's get, let's start with these ones. I'm interested, <laughs> I'm interested in what's going to count as having cut it. Like, do I have to chop it up? Nope, just fell the trees. Can I keep the wood? I guess. I'm not going to take their stumps, though. Alright. Three. Three. 
Hmm. We want to be. Do we want to be strategic about this, or do we just want to chop down until we get to twenty? This is going to be number five. This will be nice because we can take these logs to our wall that we're building. Hey, donkey. Wonder what I'm carrying that is way so much. All right, we leveled up diplomacy. Yeah, sure. Do these two. Okay, there's number six. I guess we'll get these birch. A little easier. A clay pit? I don't think I realized there was a clay pit over here. donkey there he is she is okay four more four more trees I know this seems a little bit wasteful but uh, we can always come back and get these logs at another time I just want to get the mission done to see what our reward is why why does it do that Dynasty rep. That's it. Eighty. I mean, I guess it didn't take me that long, but that seems like a job that should have gotten me more than eighty. have it that's how it works I did the job I'm gonna ride back and put this into the wall and I think I'll probably do mining on the third day I know this video is already getting long so I don't know how much of that I'll show you but you might get to see a little snippet bye for now so I know I talked a big talk about doing a bunch of mining but honestly uh, I rode home with those logs, extended the wall a little bit, and I don't know that I want to do a whole lot more. Um, I don't really feel like riding back up there to do mining. I think we have 
we have a fair bit of metal for the things that we absolutely need. We've got 36 copper ore and uh, 26 tin ore in here from last winter's trip. So um, if you guys aren't familiar with the mining situation, so you have to manually mine all of your metal until you get the mine, which is an excavation right here. And you need 5,000 points. And we're at 1,493. I mean, we're at what? 30 hours played at least into this series. And we're still not even close to halfway. Um, and the way that we get this mine is through building technology. I mean, you see that we've built a whole village. Now we're building a whole wall. Um, I don't. I, you can probably tell by the tone of my voice that I find it infuriating that I that this is level capped. Like, I get it. If you want to have a level one mine that is not as efficient, that'd be fine with me. But 5,000 production for something that you literally need to play the game or else you have to manually do it. It just, it just frustrates me. Um, so... I don't really feel like riding back up there to do that. If we need to smelt some of these ores to make a tool, we can do that. Uh, I literally just did this manure. Uh, I think I did it where you guys could see. Uh, so we're now, we've now reached the point that we have, we're going to start getting more manure than we can keep up with fertilizer wise. So that's going to become a separate issue. Um, I may end up selling a pig or two, but you know, we have 8,000 coin right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. I don't know why our fur is so low. Oh, because we made 15 fur capulets, that's why. Okay. Well, we should be selling those soon. Um, uh, 80 yeah that's it carry 85 logs I'm sure that that would be just fine anyways uh, I just wanted to give you that little bit of kind of a summary of where we're at why I'm not going back up to the mine just don't really feel like riding up there tonight we could always go back if and when we need to like I said while we were up there the uh, the resource building up there needs a little bit of work too so that's always something we could look at I did finish the two stone houses the bigger houses and I put people in them and uh, so we've got a couple empty houses that are ready to go for when our kids grow up oh we just unlocked the biggest house which I see absolutely no reason to build one of those because your families can only have two children so be kind of silly but I'll see if I can if it will let me show you what these what these bigger houses look like I'll, I'll so we initially started off with these simple small houses the ones that we just built were this size oops now what we just unlocked no what we just unlocked is this size which is actually kind of hard to see in that angle uh, but you can tell it's it's just much it's much higher um, I don't know why you would ever build this it, I built one in my first ever playthrough for my family, but you only can have one kid. That's the way the game is built. So you have your heir, and we already have our heir. So it'd be silly to do that. We can keep our family in a little three person building. So it's nice to get the unlock it feels nice to get it but now let's take a look here so 
we got to our 1500 now we need to get another thousand points the good news is we do seem to be getting some experience building this wall so I don't really know what other buildings to build I want to build a fold and we don't have access to the fold until oh we're getting there oh we're getting close let's go that that feels good actually probably spring or uh, probably when we harvest the winter crops and plant for the spring we'll get that unlocked that's good that actually makes me happy hopefully next episode or maybe the one after we can do that all right this is starting to feel really nice um, we'll get this up and this corner is a little bit wonky because I brought this road straight up to this road so then we rip down around the herbalist hut and then we go down that way I will probably bring this wall at least to this corner and then I might do I might do the lower road next once I get this upper wall done just feel like that lower road is gonna look so cool when we get that completed we're bringing in logs at about what like 50 a day something like that so we're able to do maybe eight chunks uh, approximately a day unless I specifically go to get more logs um, so we'll be able to get it done in a year or so I would think maybe two years oh Bolomir has a mission for me uh, should we see what it is or should we conclude the episode I feel like what I'm going to do is probably conclude the recording here and I will see what job she has for me uh, and probably do it off recording because I don't want this episode to be too crazy long. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the springtime. Bye bye.